Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, a lovely subscriber of mine, you know who you are, uh, requested to see some of my white line books that I enjoy doing. Um, and she also wanted a look at my Lots of Dots book, which I'll pop in at the end as well. Uh, so, I like the uh, inverted picture books that you get that are a black background and you actually colour in the white lines instead of the picture. Um, and my slight craze with this started with the Sun Life drawing book, Inverted Mandala. Um, and you essentially get a book full of lined mandalas and you colour them in. Uh, I've done quite a few pages in this book and I am a big fan. I like to do these pages with um, gel pens, especially glitter gel pens because you, well, I mean some of the neon look good as well, but because you get such a nice vibrant result from them. Um, it tends to be my... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Supply of choice when colouring in these books. And you can see that they just give a very nice striking look and for very little time. And I just find them really, really relaxing to do. Um, but when I got this book, I couldn't really find many other books like it. Um, eventually, I did manage to find some books by Marty Jo um, and they have quite a lot of books out and they do have inverted mandalas I'm just going to move my light a little but unfortunately I found it impossible to get hold of any of them um, very difficult indeed there we go that gets rid of that bulb so um, the ones I did manage to get hold of were um, Midnight Butterflies, Midnight Flowers, and this Midnight Madness Volume 2. Um, and you can find a few others of theirs sometimes on Amazon. But like I say, these are a little bit trickier to get your hands on. These are easier than the mandalas. I haven't been able to get hold of any of those. Uh, but like I say, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to rebuy Sun Life's Inverted Mandala book again for myself. So, these are essentially the same thing. You colour in the white lines of the drawings. This one's a little bit more Halloween themed. And they're just a lot of fun when done with a glitter gel pen while you're sat watching the telly just to make things pop. I'll show you quite a few pages so that you can... Whoops kind of decide <laughs> um, what kind of interest you have as it's nice to see some of the more unusual books for yourself if you're considering purchasing things. Um, uh, the other one I have is The Midnight Butterflies. Um, they are quite thick but with the sleeves you do get quite a lot of pages in them. Um, they're all very different. I must admit that I prefer the Midnight Flowers one, which I'll show you next. Although they do have a couple of, I will, I will do that one. That looks good. You of course could also use pencils in these, or to be honest, they're one-sided, so you can pop out your alcohol markers and really do a page in very little time with these. Just careful of your bleed through as always. Just found them to be a little bit different. Um, which when you do quite a lot of colouring and you have a lot of the more intense books, some of these are quite nice finds. To still be able to create something quite pretty, but without quite the effort of some of the other kind of books that you can get. So the Midnight Flowers is this one. This is a bit more of a um, 
a, a pattern kind of book, which I do quite like those. So, as you see. Ignore my green thing, finger, got gel pen on it earlier. And I've done just a, a few pages in these. Uh, but this is my preferred. Uh, I quite like the wallpaper designs to just sit, relax and repetitively colour. these books are all on the Amazon paper but you can see how effective and striking a page is these are glitter gel pens so quite a simple colour but interesting to do um, so what I have found more recently is the uh, Ben Moore book company have a lot of these white line edition books that are a little bit more um, kind of animals and um trying to think what else they do i think it's a lot of different kind of animals this is actually the hundred adorable animals is a bit of an amalgamation of some of their other books i do believe um yeah this has cute animal portraits fun animal designs and relaxing mandala patterns uh, again on amazon paper But they're just quite fun. And I think these will look fab in really bright glitter gel pens. Um, I did recently do a video on my channel, which is where this request has come from. I think it might have piqued um, some people's interest. And I used the magic pencils, like the Tritone Koh-i-Noor magic pencils on one of these pages. And that was also quite fun. I'll be honest, most of the time, glitter gel pen is going to be an easier colour. But um, it was fun to do. And you can see there's quite a variety um, they do do smaller books of like 25 pictures. These are just a set. I've already uh, started on this one. And this is one of those. I've got the Secura um, Jelly Roll pens, which I love. I think they're absolutely amazing. But I got some of the, the dual tone that flash gold. And they're supposed to be coloured. And then have a gold tone to them. And this is the purple well like a blue that flashes gold and to be honest on the papers i've used it it's not it's just gold the blue seeps seeps right through your page and you're left with what is actually a very nice gold gel pen if you can see that but they're really not what they say they are to me at all and i'll just be using them as a gold um which is a shame trying to get to a couple sneak preview from my month's finished pages did this really fun one uh, with a set of Rudolphs I was practicing I'm trying to learn um, to blend with my gel pens just to make it that little bit more interesting so just practicing with the yellow and orange there to see what we could come up with uh, this is the magic pencils that I was talking about um, and this is the one I did with the magic pencils on camera which you see what I mean the different the different colors and tones just very fun very fun to do um, but this is it this is a big book and even doing the white lines which is quicker than coloring you know you, you've got plenty to keep you busy there really and uh, 
it was a very affordable price i got mine from amazon uk and uh, i'm quite pleased that i did just for that little bit of something a bit fun um so a little bit different a while ago um i got anna and sheena's lots of dots book again I use my glitter gel pens for this one and this is essentially a book um, quite a few of them are example pages so you you start out it gives you a practice template it over explains itself to be honest if you ask me but a practice template that shows you how it should look and then the empty dots to fill in on the other side and they have kind of easy medium and hard pages um, and this is the one I've done with my glitter gel pens. Uh, so what you then get are loads of pages of the templates completed. And then further into the book, you start uh, so kind of halfway through the book you start with the empty dots and the empty pages look like this so each circle has the colour that it needs to be coloured in uh, it's very simple but it's very fun um, if you can find this book at an affordable price it is a nice one it's a hardback um, and it's just a pretty book to be honest and I just I really enjoy these are the ones that I've completed so far. Um, they don't take very long and they're just quite fun to do. They're literally just a colour by number that's uh, a bit different. Um, the closest thing I'd say that I've found to this, if I can find it, quick enough for you guys not to be having me waiting for me uh, I have the circulism art books which is another colour by number by a lovely little uh, team of two company and they've just released their second book but I have their first one it's the circulism art books colour by number sea life by eclipse art they are um, and it's the same sort of premise. You colour the circles. The uh, let's go to a page where you can see. I don't know if you'll. They're quite faint, but the colour numbers. My light's too bright. Uh, you can just see them there. In in person, they're easy to see, but um, they come with colours on the page and obviously you just paint in or colour in the dots. They're one sided and black backed so you can use a permanent marker without it looking nasty on your pages or bleeding through and wrecking a picture. And uh, this is a, a fun, interesting kind of idea. I know it's sparked off a bit of a craze I think because you're getting a lot more of those um, mosaic stone looking colour by number books coming out now as well um, which I haven't tried yet but I'll have a look at but this is also very fun you get quite a few pages in here it's on the Amazon paper and what you get in the back and the front is your colour wheel which they use for each page so you can pick your markers out to start with and then uh, use them for your book and um, this this was fun, I really did like, I think it's quite striking for what it is, a little bit like my Lots of Dots book. Um, obviously in those I use my glitter gel pens, but in these with them being bigger, because uh, you go through your gel pens like mad, I use my alcohol marker set. And uh, yeah, I hope this has been informative and that you've found it useful and it fulfills your needs. Um, I know people like to find kind of new and unusual sorts of books so if you've liked the video please pop a like on it as always it helps my channel a lot you know same hold if you like the channel please subscribe so you see my videos when they pop up and uh, have a lovely day guys I know it's getting close to Christmas now so 
have a good one and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.